Alright, so this is whatever vlog this is. Um, let me turn the lights on. I didn't do what I said I would do because I have something else to talk about that I didn't realize. Uh, so here's a lesson that I learned after building this house. Um, make sure, and this goes for anything, whenever you're designing something, make sure you design it, make sure you design the entire thing before you start building it. Because with this house, I have this weird angle here because I didn't plan the roof out. Maybe there's a bug on me. Uh, I didn't plan the, the whole roof out on that house, and then I ended up making a mistake. This house, I did the same thing. Luckily, I caught it before I went any further. Um, no, that shouldn't be on. So, what the problem was, was I decided to start designing the roof for this house. And I knew, basically, what it would look like. And so I have the roof plan drawn out here, I'll show it to you, but I had a problem with it. And first of all, if you don't know how to read this, this is looking at the house from above. Uh, this line right here is the ridge board. It's the very peak of the roof, right where the roofs come together. And then this is the slant. So this is slanting down, this is slanting down. It's just an A-frame roof, basically, the gable. Same with this. This means it's a ridge board, so that's slanting down, that's going down, and then they join together. Um, so my problem was, in the original plan, what the real builder would have done is make this wall, which goes straight across, make it continue all the way across, and then there's a bit of a bump out. I figured it was just a weird-shaped house when I made it, and I just made it like this, it bumps out, and then it bumps back in. But this, if you were to continue it over, would be behind this. This whole thing needs to be one solid roof, which means I need to move this wall out to about there, and then this will still bump out, but just a little bit. And I actually don't like that. So I, I need to do, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So right now, as you can see, there's this wall, this bumps in, and then this bumps out. On the second story, there's going to be a cantilever here this is gonna be over so like the the second floor is just gonna be a straight wall across here so it's gonna overhang this door a little bit and so it's gonna be a solid wall here and then this is gonna bump out just a tiny bit and then it was gonna bump way back in but I want this wall to be a continuation of this wall which means I need to move this forward in order to have a solid flat roof and so Luckily for me, I'm able to move this forward. I keep burping, oh my god. I just got back from a bike ride, not sure why that's really prevalent. But I need to move this out, which means what I'll have to do is tear this off, extend the floor, put the wall back on, and it should be good. But then, <laughs> I don't like this because this only bumps out like a half an inch, not even quarter of an inch, if that. And I don't like that, I want that to bump out more. So I may end up extending this part of the floor as well, making this bump out more so that the roof works. And so this will be a solid roof up to here, and then the roof will start, it'll start back here and go up at the same rate. And then this, the whole back will be one solid plane, but if you're looking at it, if you were standing here looking at the roof, it'll look like this. Like the roof will be higher over here and then there will be a little bit of a wall here. That's what this is. So this invisible line, you won't even be able to tell it's there. And then there will be no roof here. So above the sunroom a little bit, it'll just be, there'll be, it'll just be one story with a little roof over it. And then there's the garage. And so that's, that's my roof. So that's what I have to do. I need to move both of those walls out and then see kind of what happens after that. But as you can tell, I didn't do much since the last episode. I got a little bit done there. That's about it. So, yep.